And a uh, one-all draw here today against uh, Chelsea. What were your thoughts? I thought it was really good today um, against a, a good young Chelsea team. Um, and I thought, you know, I thought we played some good stuff. And I think, I think it, it poses a good test for us, fitness-wise. And you know, having to be sharp on the ball when they're shutting you down. Um, their press is very good, and it makes us, you know, have to move the ball really quickly. Um, so I think from that point of view, it works well. Um, we created a lot of chances again and just didn't take them, but I'd sooner I save those for next week. And the goal's got to be one of the best work goals in, in your time here, possibly. It was outstanding, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a good move. Uh, we've been sort of moaning a little bit at the, the, the sort of uh, supporting centre half, as it were, the back three to support. And um, in fairness, Bushy then got up and supported uh, Harry, which then causes an overload. Uh, and then, you know, the, the move after that was very good and the finish was excellent. Um, so really, yeah, really chuffed with all of that. Um, I, I think there's been some real positives this pre-season. Um, and we look forward now to the game next week. And you've certainly been putting the players through their paces in this uh, gruelling pre-season schedule. And it's fair to say the fitness looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I think the fitness does look very good. Um, you know, we've had the... Uh, the data now for a year of um, our stats and numbers, what we achieved last year in pre-season, alongside of what I've looked at when I've been at, you know, like the Arsenal's, the Palaces and Newcastle's, and, and that's given us a benchmark really to make sure that we're hitting the numbers that we should be hitting, and we we have hit them numbers. The high speed running has been good, um, and, and, and the overall, you know, the, the overall distance has been good. So. So all of that I'm really happy with and, and now we've just got to, like I say, just put the ball in the back of the net next week. And that is of course the final game of the pre-season schedule. How would you assess that, that pre-season campaign? Yeah, I think it's been good considering it's been a slightly shorter pre-season than, than probably uh, we've normally had due to the, 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 uh, the Wembley game. But I think there's been a lot of pluses there. I think a lot of players have come in, they've staked their claim. Um, again, we've used the young players, you know, Kellen Fisher, he's done really well and, and all of the boys. Uh, you know, I've really staked their claim for the shirt next week and it's, it's now my decision to make sure I pick a team that goes out against Wildstone and, and uh, you know, gets a clean sheet and, and gets the points to bring back to Bromley. Well, of course it is a week till the big kick-off in the National League. What the fans want to know is, uh, will we expect to see any transfer activity before that time? Yes. <laughs> That's short and sharp. <laughs> That's it, yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, I'm, I'm constantly... Uh, it's no secret, you know, I'm constantly speaking to people uh, and I know people get a bit tetchy about we haven't got this, we haven't got that, relax, it's fine. Um, there's a certain way of doing things, uh, particularly with some of these big clubs, that you have to, you know, play by their rules a little bit because it's their players and you have to wait and be patient. Um, so, yeah, we've got, we've got some things still bubbling, uh, bubbling along in the background uh, and we will do, you know, I will do all season. Uh, that's just the way I am. I'll keep speaking to everyone I know and make sure that we've, We've got the right bodies and right characters coming in this door to sort of really give us, you know, a good solid start to the season.